So Pat, Joe, a 1-1 one, one draw at Plymouth, and in the end, probably a fair result considering Plymouth's fair, fine results actually, been in good form recently. So what did you make of the result in the end? Um, if I'm honest with you, I, I don't think it was a fair result reflecting on the game, I thought. Um, whilst first half was, was quite even, they've obviously scored a bit of a worldie. I thought second half we were massively the dominant team. I think we we'd probably say it's fair to say well, I think we had over 10 shots in the second half and we're talking about good chances. Um, you know, we've had, we've had numerous headers, numerous crosses in the box where we probably should score. We've hit the bar twice. Um, and whilst they defended well, I think probably we come away feeling like we should have won the game. But having said that, I think we've got a, an overwhelming feeling of pride of our performance and just said to the lads that if we see that level of performance for the rest of the season, then we'll win a lot more than we'll lose. Well, Joe, you can't take anything away from that goalkeeping performance from Parks there. Outstanding performance. But I suppose it's a problem our finishing at the moment, just finding it hard to get it in the back of the net, despite making quite good chances. Yeah, it felt like, um, you know, it felt obviously we were, we were missing the target by a yard or two, and then we were hitting the bar a few times, and then as soon as we started hitting the target, he started obviously putting off some good saves. So um, I wouldn't say that the finishing was a problem. I think it was maybe one of those days where... You know, like Pat said, we feel really positive. It's probably the, the most positive we felt after a game that we haven't won because that was a, a very good performance. Second half especially was, was really impressive, I thought. So frustrating because when you have the chances, you obviously you, you want to take them. But at the same time, I think we're, we're very pleased with the level of performance and we, we can almost put it down to one of those days where it just wouldn't go in the back of the net. And Pat, looking at Billy Basari, we were, we were talking a bit about it off air there, but he's been looking so good since joining Gosport, and he's actually looking really good along with a couple of other players, so Joe Morrison being another one of those players. But are we looking at bringing in any new players? Because looking at the squad, we're looking a bit thin, like with injuries being Rory Williams, Charlie, so are we looking at bringing in any new players? Yeah, just firstly touch on... Billy and, and Joe, I think they've both come in and made a real impact. I think they've been excellent in every game they've played and um, yeah, none more so than, than today. I thought Billy was a, a massive threat the whole game and um, we found him a lot and he was creating, he was beating his man, he was crossing in the box and you know I think he's quite an entertaining player to watch and um, I think Joe is so dominant at the back along with the whole back four which have been, the back four have been excellent in the last three to four games and he's been a big part of that but I think we, you know, we need to give credit to everyone that we've been really solid and other than a wonder goal we, we didn't look too much like conceding today. Um, we are looking at bringing a few players in. Uh, I think the quality in the group is at, at a good level so it's not necessarily um, that we need to bring players in for, for quality purposes more. Like you say we're, we're a little bit light in terms of the squad at the moment with, with the injuries we've had. So we're working hard with, with Rowan to, to source some players that will, will fit the way, we want to, where, the way we want to play. And I think it's important not just to go and sign anyone, but they have to be the right character and the right player in the right position. So, yeah, we're working hard on that and hopefully we'll see a few new faces in the, in the coming weeks. And Joe, we have got some big teams coming up, one of them being Hungerford, Merford. We've got some massive teams coming up, actually. So how important is it we train ahead of these games? Because we're still unbeaten in 2024, which is a nice fact. Yeah, um, yeah, we've got a very difficult run of fixtures the next month or so. I think, you know, I think you'll struggle to find a, maybe a team in this league who've got a tougher run than us over the next month. So um, it's one of those things where we, we have to embrace it and just kind of say, like, look, it is what it is. You, you play everyone twice in the season. Um, and we've just got to almost attack each fixture with a, with a mentality that we want to go and win and, um, and get three points on the board if we, if we want to finish where we want to finish in the league. But, um, you know, Plymouth today, you know, they're not to be underestimated either. I think they're top of the form table in the league. And we all know, and me and Pat are, are, have been experienced enough at this level to know that form and momentum matters. They come here on a massive high. Um, and I think, you know, we, we picked up a, an OK point today. Obviously, we'd like to win the game, but when we do go to Hungerford and Tottenham and when Merthyr come here, we, you know, we're looking to attack the fixture and, and go for three points.
Well, I think it's safe to say playing-wise, we're actually doing very well. And thanks to you two, we're looking very good on the ball. But another big thing is volunteers in football. And Jeremy has recently been appointed club president. And one of the big things he did want to do is bring in more volunteers. And Pat, I'll ask you about this question, considering you help massively with the media and everything. How important are volunteers to a club like Gosport? Massively important. I think someone like yourself is really important to us to promote the club and we've got numerous volunteers at the club who, who work tire tirelessly throughout the week to you know to, to do all the jobs that some people don't want to do and it's you know especially times like this when it's when it's a bit cold and you know you might not want to do it but you know we're, we're so grateful that, that volunteers come and take their time out of their day to help us out and it makes a massive difference and we always appreciate it and I think that's what makes you know a local non-league community is is community people that volunteer and, and take the time to come and help us out so we urge you know people to keep coming and, and doing that because you know it's, it's all part of one club and if we work together then hopefully we can we can achieve more success and for the final words can we get one big up the borough absolutely up the not borough. <laughs>